Hello everybody and welcome back. I got another fun unboxing for you all. Tackle Warehouse had a really nice Z-Man 30% off flash sale on, so everything Z-Man was 30% off. And uh, as you may know, I love Z-Man plastic, so I had to jump on this. I grabbed a few things, some plastics, I grabbed a couple chatter baits, um, and made, just took full advantage of that. I also grabbed a couple of other baits, some uh, Yamamoto to Yamatanukis and uh, things like that. So we're going to open everything. I'm going to rig it all up, show you how everything kind of looks, pair some trailers with some jigs, and then uh, we'll finish up from there. So I'll quickly just touch on this uh, core tackle stuff that my friend actually ordered. I split the order with him just to save on shipping, you know, as I usually do with these videos. And he grabbed these, uh, he's kind of the guinea pig for this. The core tackle stuff I've seen on YouTube that for a while now. Uh, Matt Steffen, he's the one that kind of promotes this. I think he's part owner or something like that. And uh, it looks really nice. Just some really interesting jigs and kind of rig setups for soft plastics. So he actually picked up here, this is the swim jig from Core Tackle. And uh, hard to see, but there is like the, the weight, the actual lead weight part kind of goes up the hook there. And so, uh, you know, I think it balances everything out, kind of makes it more even. These are really cool. So this is the Tush, the ultimate swim bait hook. And unfortunately I can't rig this up because it is just going to tear right through my plastic. But what you do is, I don't know if you can see there on that diagram there, but your plastic goes all the way over that weighted part. So that, uh, where that, 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 that loop is to tie to your line, it just comes right out of the tip of the plastic. So, kind of makes things a bit more compact, a bit more, uh, you know, nicer looking in the water. You just have that plastic presentation, you don't have to worry about a large jig head or anything like that hanging around and uh, we'll see. He's a guinea pig for this, so uh, we'll get some footage throwing it around and uh, see how good it works and then maybe I'll pick some up. So not only was Z-Man on sale, but I also noticed these were on sale. This is the Yamamoto. 2.5 inch Yama Tanuki and a heavy green gizzard. So these are, are, are Yamamoto's kind of version of the heavy soft plastic, you know, scat bait is what they call them. And I wanted to buy, there's the Depths Cover Scat. I've seen a lot, a lot of retailers that I've kind of wanted to buy that to try. But my friend picked up these, these are the Yama Tanuki, and it's like a heavy weighted soft plastic. I don't know the exact, uh, you know, weight of these, but I know the bigger ones are like a quarter ounce. So. We'll see, it's gonna be fun to throw. He used it recently, we went out last weekend, he used it and he crushed uh, a lot of dink largemouth, but you know, bit of a numbers bait, but it seemed to work really well, this smaller size. So, I decided I'm gonna copy it, I picked it up. Picked a bit of a lighter color though. That gizzard green, looks kinda nice. I think it's cool to me, I don't know. Something a little more natural kinda for that, um, you know, for the clear water that I fish. And so people say, you know, for you, these, they really get torn up pretty easily. Yamamoto baits kind of on, in general, I find get torn up pretty easily, but these are very heavily salt impregnated and just, you know, a very not that durable plastic. So I picked up some hooks to use it with. These are these like screw lock EWG kind of hooks. Um, so basically the same as you would with a regular Texas rig EWG, but instead you're screwing that tip in. So we're gonna rig this up and I'll show you kind of how it looks. So there it is rigged up. So they kind of say that this size goes best on the 2 aught hook. My friend actually used the one aught just because that's what was at the store at the time. And I think the one aught works pretty nice because what happens is you have a slit on the bottom of the plastic. So you don't have to worry about that hook getting buried. Because you have a slit on the top, you also don't have to worry about burying the hook. So I think that's that smaller hook works pretty good. I think it works fine. I mean, he caught lots of fish, but they didn't really miss bites. So it's not something I'm really worried about. And uh, yeah, pretty much just like you would with a regular Texas rig Senko or something like that. You're gonna drop this out there. This is gonna float down pretty much sideways. And as it does, that tail is obviously gonna flutter like crazy. So I'm gonna try this with a smaller two, I think it's, what is it? What did I say, one and a half, two and a half inch? Whatever the size is, the smaller size, I'm gonna throw this and then if it works, I might size up and grab one of the three and a half inch size that they have. And uh, you know, see if maybe they'll get the bigger fish on. But for now, we're gonna throw this around and I'm pretty excited to do so. You know, and I think, yeah, so like I said, that, that, that one aught hook, Although a little bit small, you really still have no problem exposing that hook point as a fish bites down the bait. I'm not worried about it. So these were not on sale. This is the Yamamoto Zacco. And I only bought these because I'm buying a chatterbait and I needed to get a smaller trailer for it, a smaller chatterbait trailer. Uh, I know throwing paddle tails is kind of frowned upon when it comes to the bladed jigs. So I needed something that's like three inch. All I really have are the chatter spikes, which are a little bit too big because I purchased a chatterbait mini max. The Chatterbait Mini Max is a fun little bait here. So it's actually a 3 8 ounce Chatterbait, which is like standard kind of weight, but it's in a smaller presentation. I think it's a smaller hook and just smaller overall size. So, uh, you know, a compact bladed jig, as they say, we're gonna bust this open and we're gonna see how it matches up with that Zacco. 
So there we go, that pair is pretty nice. I might just trim the uh, skirt pieces down a tiny bit. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that does look okay though, that's not bad. So like I said, trim the skirt down a little bit, just closer to that edge of the hook. And uh, I think that'll be pretty nice to throw, you know, year round. I really like the chatter bait, but it's a little bit big for me. I wanted something smaller that has that similar. This is also a wire tied skirt, I should say. Um, really nice and secure, better than those rubber bands you get on just the regular chatter bait. So that's kind of a nice upgrade as well. And a bit smaller blade here, so, you know, either way, going to be fun to throw, which is a standard kind of chatterbait thing. And, uh, you know, blade jigs work well, we know that, so, excited to throw this. Yeah, so that's a Gizzard Shad Chatterbait Mini Max, and that is the smallmouth magic uh, Zacco. That clear bottom with a little bit of green on the top there. Going to be a nice little natural color. This here is another Chatterbait. This is the Chatterbait Custom in the Bite Delight color. So a little bit of green pumpkin, a little bit of white, um, a little bit of chartreuse. And uh, pretty standard thing here. The, the custom chatter baits are kind of neat. They're like just different colors, different hook sizes, things like that. Just different different builds, I guess, of the standard chatter bait um, that you can't really seem to get on cer at certain retailers. But I didn't buy this for anything special. It was just a cheap, pretty cheap one that was on sale that I wanted to give a try to. So I accidentally bought two of these. But there you go, standard chatter bait. I'm gonna ha like I said, I have chatter spikes that I'm gonna pair with this. And I think it'll be okay. Um, that just has a regular banded skirt, which isn't great. I was kind of hoping this would be like a wire tie or something like that. But I mean, either way, nice standard bladed jig. We'll do the trick. I really like that color. So moving on, these are the Texas Eye Jigs and the Texas Eye Finesse Jig. So this is just a smaller size. These are some pretty neat things that I've had my eye on for a long time now. It's an EWG hook with a, uh, you know, jointed jig head, a little, a little weighted ball of jig, so kind of like a chica rig looking kind of thing, so I'm going to fish this on the bottom, and I'm going to throw something like a baby goat or the goat on, which I purchased, and we're going to test that out. I think it'll be pretty cool, and I still think I can flip around kind of here and there, just flipping the cover, and uh, you know, should be a good fun action to it. So there we go, taking it out. Like I said, that weighted part is jointed, so it's allowed to kind of move freely. I think it'll just give me a nice, nice presentation on the bottom, but it should be pretty easy to pull through the weeds, which is something that I'm always struggling with. So two plastics that I grabbed a pair with those Texas eye jigs, as well with the Jika rig that I'm gonna be throwing soon, are the goat and the baby goat. This is the baby goat, this is the goat, it's a little bit bigger. The baby goat comes in at three inch, and the goat comes in at 3.75 inch. So the goat is something I found at a dollar store. I found it in white, and uh, it's a pretty cool, they call it a, a twin tail grub, but it's obviously not standard grub. More like a craw, kind of a mix between a grub and a craw. And I like the action on it, but I just didn't care for the color. Canada Craw is a Z-Man color that I do really well with fishing on the bottom. So I thought I'd give it a try. I bought it in the smaller size and the full size. So we're gonna rig that up and I'll show you what it looks like. So there is the full size goat on the eye, the Texas eye jig. This is the full size Texas eye jig. So this is a quarter ounce weight. And uh, yeah, gonna fish that on the bottom like a no would a normal Texas rig. But uh, have that jointed eye on there, it'll give it a nice good action. So there it is, this is the full size goat, rigged up on the full size Texas eye jig. And uh, you know, pretty simple, just like you wear a regular Texas rig. And uh, I think that's gonna be fun to flip around and just, you know, find cover and uh, pitch to it and hopefully catch fish. So same thing, same exact thing with this one as I would with the smaller, the finesse Texas eye. Except I'd use the baby goat, as that just kind of matches more than the size side of things and uh, you know, more smaller finesse presentation if that's what the fish are honing in on. My battery totally died on me there, but I got one bait left, so we're gonna finish things up. This is the Z-Man Zinker Z. The Zinkers, I don't know how you really pronounce these Z-Man plastic names, but this is in the green pumpkin goby color. It's just a standard stink bait. So a lot of times Z-Man stuff, the Elastec stuff, it just floats, right? It all just floats. I want a Elastec sinking worm, and that's why I picked this up. The Elastec is super durable. So even though this sinks, and it's you know, full of salt. It still has that stretch, that elasticity that makes the elastic last a long time. And uh, I think it's just, it's, it's, it's really good. It's durable, right? So it's gonna last a bunch of fish. Right now I use Yum Dingers as my main stick bait. And while it works, they don't have that durability. I'm going through them pretty often. So I wanted to pick this up and give it a try. I'm not gonna bother Texas rigging this, but I think this Wacky Rig will be a really nice bait. So that's it, all my Z-Man and other stuff that I bought. Just like I said, a small order, just some essentials that I know I'm gonna want and use. 
and I jumped on the sale while I could. Thank you all for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tight lines out there. And uh, if you enjoyed, stick around and watch some recommended or my most recent upload. Thank you all for watching.